welcome. Uh, so the other day I uh, did a quick little overview of um, clipping coupons. So here I am at Publix, which is a grocery store here near where I live. If you live in uh, the United States, the um, southeastern United States, uh, you probably are familiar with Publix. Uh, great, uh, great um, grocery store. And they have these coupons, these digital coupons online. You go, you create an account, and then you clip these coupons, and then I guess when you get to the register, you're supposed to type your phone number into the keypad. It's something I never do. <laughs> I will never remember to do that. But the, the, it's, it's a weird thing, though, because you have to come in here, and you can clip as many of these ones. You just, you just click the little plus button, and it adds it to your clip coupons, and then when you get there, you type in your phone number. So it seems to me like, why should I have to go through all these? Why can't I just clip them all? That way, if I buy any of these things, I'll get the discount on it. It just seems kind of, it's not like they're limiting you. Um, it's just really weird that you got to go and clip them. You would think that, yeah, I get it. You want my information. Uh, so you want my phone number. That's great. Um, can't you just give me a discount on any of this stuff when I come in? Why do I have to go through the process of clicking on each one of these? So let's uh, look at clipping all of them. So uh, right now, there's the, when you come here, you go to publics.com, log in, click on coupons, click all, load all coupons, and you can see this is the coupons for, you know, the next couple of weeks or even months in some cases, uh, they're available. And there's a lot to go through. Uh, when I did this, the video yesterday, it was uh, 168 coupons. Uh, so let's go ahead and work on that. So again, when you click the plus, it adds it to your coupon clipped right there. So I'm going to open up my uh, developers console here under networks and when I click this plus button you'll see a list of stuff. We're looking for this one that says clip and it has a coupon number here and um, and it responds with double quotation marks if it's successful. And you'll notice that it has a coupon ID that's passed through it. So what we're going to do is here, now this whole thing could be automated, completely automated if you want, using something like Chrome Headless or Firefox with some Python script, but I'm not looking to do it completely, this is just for fun, like I said, <laughs> I'm not going to do this uh, all the time, uh, but I'm going to copy this as curl, as a curl command. Now I can go to my shell and I can paste that curl command. And all I have to do is change. So this has all the login information and cookies that are required, I guess the cookies that are I've already logged in with, to submit this. And all I have to do is give it a new coupon key. Uh, and this is not really any account. This is just an account I made for this tutorial. So go ahead and if you want to try to type out all this and, and get access to my account, that's great. But anyway, uh, so now that we do that, we just need to see the coupon code for one of these. So I'm going to select this element tool here, click on one of these, and right here you can see uh, data coupon ID, coupon ID right there. And when I do that, I'll paste that in. I got the double quotation marks uh, saying that it was successful. And if I go into my clip coupons here, you'll see that it's there. Uh, go back to all coupons. And let's once again scroll down here and click load coupons. Actually, I should have paid attention to what I just clipped, just to make sure that it actually clipped, but I'm pretty sure it did. Three things, right? I don't know how many I've actually clicked on and how many I compared to the one that I just added here. But what we can do now, again, you can completely automate this, but I'm just going to scroll up in our elements here, grab one of the higher elements up and say copy, copy element, and I'm going to put that into a file. So I'm going to say cat, and then I'm going to redirect into a file just called p. I can paste it here and then hit uh, control D when I'm done. Now I can cat out P and it's that code I just pasted in there. Now we're looking for, we know we're looking for something that says uh, data dash coupon ID. So let's just grab for data dash coupon ID. And we'll grab that from the P and right there we can see that we have all these uh, coupon codes here just to make sure we got them. Like I said, uh, you can see right here all this is 167. Let's see what happens if we do a word count here, or a line count with WC. We got 167. Perfect. So every coupon is listed here. Now we just need to cut that. So we'll get rid of our WC command for counting and just say cut with a delimiter of uh, quotation mark, field two. There are all our numbers. And now we're going to take this and we'll go back up to our curl command here. I'll paste that in at the beginning here. Oops, I pasted the wrong thing. <laughs> Let's see. Okay, there, we'll paste that line. Let's go ahead and make this full screen now, so make it a little bit easier to read. 
And we're gonna actually make a while loop out of this. While read, I'll just call it L. You can call it whatever you want. You can probably call it coupon ID. Do. And then at the end, we're gonna say done. Uh, so we're gonna cut through, we're gonna grep through, cut through, pipe all that into a variable, and then loop through. To use the variable, we're gonna change these uh, single quotes on this first little section here to double quotes. Get rid of the coupon ID. Dollar sign now. Now, if you aren't familiar with Bash scripts, this might all seem very confusing. I'm not going into a lot of detail. This tutorial is just kind of for fun. It's a fun tutorial, and I assume that you you know how to use grep and cut and while loops. If not, I've done videos on all this stuff before. Uh, but now, so basically, it's going to loop through, and for each one of those coupon codes, it's going to run this command. But where this says dollar sign L now, it's actually going to put in the next coupon code. So if we hit enter, it's going to start going here. And every time we get that double quotation, double double quotation marks, we're going to have a new coupon in there. So now we come over here, and this doesn't necessarily refresh right away, but if I click on my coupons here, actually if I hit a five to refresh, we now have 29 coupons clipped, but it's still going. We can refresh it again. And now we have 39 coupons clipped. Now we just let that go, and eventually we'll have all the coupons clipped. And you can do this, you know, every so often, and then whenever you go to Publix, you just type in your phone number, and if you happen to buy anything uh, on this list of coupons that are available, that coupon should be applied. Anyway, so this is this quick overview again. This tutorial isn't like an in-depth tutorial, it's just more fun concept idea using some of the tools that we've gone over in the past. Again, if you're not familiar with the cat command, the grep command, the cut command, the while loops, uh, using variables, or even the wc command for um, for counting stuff, if you go to filmsbychris.com, you can search through all my videos. So you can type in something like grep and find a bunch of videos about grep. If you want to know about curl, I'm sure I have a couple of videos on curl. So go ahead, check these things out. Check out my website. I thank you for watching, and I hope that you have a great day. How many coupons are we at now? Hundred and forty-five, almost done. You have a great day.